by the government for the explosion of BMOI from Iraq is illegal. The residents have, regardless of their rights to stay in Iraq, have agreed to transfer to third countries, and of course United Nations High Commissioner for Refugee should immediately start this work in Ashraf to reaffirm the resistance, uh, uh, the residence refugee status. Second, the UN and UNHCR should in no way agree to the transfer of Ashraf residents to Liberty, given there are obvious plans to treat them as prisoners, and this location lacks the minimum internationally recognized standards. Hence, this is a forced relocation and a breach of IHL, and the UN body should not engage in an illegal act. If the government of Iraq and or any organization, number three, it truly seeks, seeks a humanitarian solution away from hidden agendas, it will come to the conclusion that there is no more appropriate location than Ashraf to guarantee the safety and the security of its residents, while the international initiatives are underway for their resettlement. It should be stated the UN, US and EU are ultimately responsible for the safety and the preserving the rights of the residents. I ask Mr. Ben Ki-moon and Secretary Clinton and Lady Ashton, whom all have committed themselves to the peaceful solution of, for Ashraf to end their silence about al-Maliki, the vocation of the peaceful solution and to protect the rights of the victims and not the political protocols, protocols with the government of Iraq. About the arrest, and there is, there is a jokes with all these, that one, the 121 here, I mean, if we go over all this, you will see that those guys, some of them here, some of them is in Europe, some of them is not even existing there. So looks like it is given to him by uh, mullahs in Iran, and they told him just do it. And without even looking on the names, looking if they are in, in Ashraf or no, right away he made this warrant since he started looking for them. And he is, as a prime minister of Iraq, he went on the TV, and he said they ha he has 121 and he will follow that. I like just to say that he expelled also in Iraq, in Iraq right now. He expelled all the Iraqi ministers, uh, Iraqi ministers, from the cabinet. And now we have a problem internally with him. It's a major problem, political problem. So now is is America, U.S. U.S. All, all the world, all the world committed to help that. But U.S. has the solution because U.S. Has, has the treatment with those government, with this government, military treatment. And we are, they are with them there. Maliki, who is Maliki? And Maliki will never be there. You know that. He will never be there. The same way Mullahs, uh, 79, the same Mullahs, stole the revolution from you, Mujahideen Khalq, okay, and everybody remember that, that now they are in power and they give the trouble to everybody from Iran. The same those guys, they stole the, everything from us in 19, uh, sorry, in 2005. What is, what is the general? If you, come on, just go, call, uh, call the prime minister and get him, tell him, get lost from there. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm telling you one, one American soldier, one American soldier, he can take him because we, we, I'm talking now American, we put him there. Now we have to take care of our mistake over there. Uh, I am with you, Iraqia, all of it with you, and we will fight all of us to keep Ashraf. Nobody can touch Ashraf. Ashraf now is some symbols for us and for you.
and long, long live ISIS.